Okay, 30 videos on David Schumacher. I never would have thought it possible. Never in my wildest dreams. And I'm not trying. I'm trying to wrap this up. I, I'm, I'm tired. I just, you know, I just want to get to my Memorial Day weekend. I want to have my fun. I want to get away from this, you know. But still, 30 videos in. Ugh. And we're still examining the footage. So here we go. Let's keep on now. What happens next? Oh, oh, let me get this one ear plug in so I can hear some sound. There we go. All right. Let's see. Nothing funny going on. Nothing funny going on. Nothing funny going on here. And Hansen doing Hansen. See, you see patterns in the way Hansen conducts an interview. He'll repeat back what the person said so he says nothing going on here with a question mark see it's it's a tactic nothing funny going on that's exactly what Hansen says nothing funny going on you know that's cheap journalism right there I'm sorry I know that's a controversial statement I'm just saying you know to, you know try to be more imaginative but you know but it's a good fallback as a live interviewer. That's one of the, uh, it's a trick. It's a technique. It's a technique. It's what you can do. You can just, it's like palming in magic. You know, it's, it's a palm trick. So he repeats back what he said. Nothing funny going on here. Nothing funny going on here. As, and he repeats it back as a question. So you repeat the statement back as a question. So he's got the total Illuminati hand gestures going on he's totally jay-zing his ass dude he is totally jay-zing his ass oh gosh if the girl if the girl if the girl is really oh god if the girl's really 14 <laughs> look at that that's a nice shot right there i like that one that's a good one his face in full you can almost see his eyes but it's got comes straight down and straight down. Looks nice symmetry. Looks real good. Really, really good. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> it's a girl that wanna come to the party. But there it is. The cigarettes. The mobile phone. Look how big his mobile phone is. Oh my god. I bet it's not even a flip top. Oh boo. See, boo, the cookies, the ever-present cookies, man, those fucking cookies, the remote control, the remote control, the chat log, one, two, three, four, five, six pages of chat, 30 videos, <laughs> oh, nice, she told you she was 14, and now he's going to say something about a role-playing chat room, hold on a second. Oh, we are so close to reaching the end. Okay. Oh, look at him. See, he's tapping. He's tapping the cigarettes. He's like, he's he's about to make a point. He's about to make a legal point because he's tapping very lightly on those cigarettes. We were in a role-playing chat room. Boom. There it is. The first time that you hear about the role-playing chat room, I think. Role-playing chat room, dude. Oh God, Chris Hansen! Now you've now see you've given Chris Hansen just more material to work with. Oh, you're you're in that position to where everything you do only works to his advantage. You were so screwed, brother. You're so screwed. Look at this guy. Look at this gangster. Look at this gangster. He's looking at Chris. Chris can only look down because this guy. This guy. It's just so baller, dude. What's Chris do? What's Chris do? You know how many times I hear that? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to bring this up because Chris Hansen just said, do you know how many times I hear that? And, and what I could not figure out was where is Fort Myers in the timeline? So there's Fort Myers. Fort Myers happens after Greenville, right? As in it's a question, right? Yeah, yeah, Jeff Stacy. It exists between Greenville 
and before forts in Georgia. Oh, forts in Georgia. One of the most brutal decap episodes. <laughs> dude. Homeboy showed up in a semi truck, dude. In a semi truck. And oh man, I'm you know, that's not what this video is about, but still. So now we understand. When Chris Anson says you know how many times I've heard that? He is already dealt with and and dispatched of Jeff Stacy. Dude, Jeff Stacy has already been destroyed by Chris Hansen. And Chris Hansen says to him, You know how many times I've heard that? Role playing chat rooms, please. Maybe I should start an internet business and it would be called Role Playing Chat Rooms and people just role play for fifteen dollars a month. You know? Or maybe they already do that. Uh, okay, now I'm totally lost in the chat. Oh my god, I'm completely lost. Did I miss I can't I can't go back. I don't know what's going on now. I don't even know that what I just said got recorded. Oh my god. Anti-baller. Anti-baller. Anyway, Fort Myers between Greenville and Fortson. Oh, Georgia. Oh, oh, oh. the most brutal. <laughs> you know, the TV show is one thing, but it's the sentences afterwards that they lived after the show, dude. For years in prison, man. Years in prison. And then Petaluma and Long Beach, California. You disappoint us greatly. Murphy, Texas. Flagler Beach, back to Florida. Coming back to Florida. New Jersey, really? New Jersey was that that far down? I did not know that. Wow. Wow, I did not know that. And then Bowling Green, the last one. The last official one was Bowling Green. That's amazing. I did not know that New Jersey was that far down. Wow. Because look at Fort Myers. Look at the, you know, if you did a graph, there's a big, that's a big jump. Fort Myers, Florida. Wow. Came after Greenville. It's a question. To Forts in Georgia, dude. Right in between. And he said, you know how many times I've heard that before? Oh, fucking A, dude. Forts in Georgia. Oh, the most brutal decap episode ever. These guys got sentences. Holy shit, man. They did real time. They did real hard time. My gosh. Okay, anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, gosh. Let's get through this, man. I want to get back to my own holiday. Am I being held up here? Am I being held up here? He is flat out asking if he is under arrest. And you know what Hanson says? You're free to walk out that door. Now, Hanson didn't want to let him go, I'm sure. He was having fun toying with his, his prey, but Hanson has to let him go. You're not being held up. You're free. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. You are free to walk right out that door you came in on. Look at his eyes. Oh, they're so dark. So deep. He already knows the future. That's the thing. He knows the future. He already sees David Schumacher's future. You can walk out that same door you came in. You came in, You can come in that same door you walked in. And then, and then, and then here, look, 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 look at this. Look, and at the same time, he's breaking, he's just breaking out. He's just coming out, man, to attack again. He's coming out of his shell. Oh, wow, he's had enough of this Hanson business. He's had enough. Role-playing chat room, dude. You know how many times I hear that? Okay, so he says, you know how many times I hear that? Not how many times I have heard that. Interesting choice of tense. Oh, uh, you know how many times? I'll look at this guy. Oh, he's straight up balling that freaking microphone, that boom mic. Oh, that's a bad job. That's a terrible job. That job sucks. Because if this guy, this predator, decides to keep talking, you will end up on your knees. We've seen it in Greenville. We saw it, man, with that one dude. He just kept talking. 
talking. Rutherford. Rutherford. That was his name. He kept talking and talking and talking. And I swear to God, the sound man takes a knee. Then he takes two knees. And then he's just, he gives up. He totally gives up. He can't do it anymore. Rutherford. <laughs> I don't know why Rutherford has such a following, but he does. I don't get it. I, you know, I mean, maybe it's the Corvette. Maybe it's because he broke one of the sound men. But, you know, compared to David Schumacher, David Schumacher kills Rutherford every time, dude. It's it's a, it's a losing bet, dude. You'd have to combine Rutherford with somebody else, okay? And you combine those predators and you take on uh, David Schumacher, but David Schumacher pretty much, you know, stay. He stands alone. He's a he's a self-contained entity. He's so baller. All right, here we go. Am I being held up here? He wants to know: Is he under arrest? You're not being held up. You're free to walk out that door. Oh, here it comes off. Look, look. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, he caught it just at the perfect frame. It is right about to peel. And because the shirt was probably coming off anyway, he decides to unlock it. He's like, I'm going to unlock this bitch and then watch this shit. Walk out that same door you came in on. See, he does a, he, it does a flinch and a flash. And he's, he's, he's touching the hat again. He's doing it. And then, okay, he says, do you. He says, do you. And he's pointing to himself. He says, do you. Do you guys want to do an interview? Boom! Boom! The David Schumacher, man. He just pulls it down. Look at that shit. He's in your face. He's in your face. Do, do you guys want to do an interview? Hey, how you doing? Look at him. He's looking at the cameraman. Oh, gosh. Gosh. This is not how he thought he was going to get famous. Man. And Chris Hansen totally just letting it slide. Look at Hansen, always prepared, like cat-like reflexes. He's like a cat. He's just he's just there. Cat-like. Oh, look at this. Hey, do you do you want to do an interview? How you doing? That's what he says. How you doing? How y'all doing? Okay. Okay, now he grabs his cigarettes. Now he's coming back at Hansen. So now he doesn't think there's any cops involved. Now he thinks this is local television news. That's what he's thinking. And boy, was he wrong. <laughs> How y'all doing? NBC? NBC? Is NBC? Look at them Dustin McFetridge hand motions, dude. Hi. NBC? He is so... Look at Chris Hansen just letting him go. Chris Hansen is so self-controlled, man. So self-controlled. NBC? NBC? That's, you know, NBC. He thinks it's... Look, he's got money in his cigarettes. It's only $3. I guarantee you that's a $1 bill. And he ain't hollering with that dollar. Oh my God, that is literally three dollars he's got there. If not, it's or maybe it's a five and a one, but that's a one dollar bill stuffed into his cigarette pack. Oh my God, probably the money that he was gonna go buy some greed with, man, because <laughs> that's all we smoke at Fort Myers is greed. Yeah. Look at that shit. Oh, man. Look at that foam. Look at that phone. It looks so archaic now. So archaic. And Hansen confirms NBC. And then he allows him to just hold court again with the camera crew. Hold on a second. Oh, God. This is too baller. NBC. And then he states it a third time. NBC. So, so I don't know what 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 kind of thing you you pulling on people or what what we're gonna find out what he says. He goes, I don't know what kind of thing you got on people, okay? But this this is what's going on right here. Ain't nothing funny going on right here. So he says he's tapping his cigarettes. He's confident. He this is just some local news bullshit. He just got internet famous, is what he's thinking. 
Oh, he has no idea of the trouble that he is in. And you're, and you're, see, he's, st <gasps> oh, goodness gracious, please, that was terrible. Okay, so he's establishing, okay, he's already established that he's, there's no, there's nothing funny going on. So, no, you're Chris Hansen. And he's like, Chris, and he's going to call him by his first name. He's just so in control of the situation. He is f coming back, dude. He's coming back, fists ablazing, and you're. Chris Hansen, and that's what Hansen says. Chris Hansen, and so this guy says, "Okay, I think I, well, we're going to find out what he says." All right, and and then Chris Hansen says, "Chris Hansen, Dateline NBC," and then he's like, "Okay, you know, he's he's shaking the cigarettes. He's like, okay, I got gotcha. you. Let me let me let me explain something. Okay, let me let me let me explain something." He's tapping the cigarettes. He is not thinking of his sister at this point in time. That sister does not exist. That's the quantum reality of the David Schumacher. Like, you have babies, and you drive him 30 minutes to pick up some girl to take back to the party, right? But yet, you do not exist in his mind. It's just you're not even a part of the equation. You're so just, oh, so used. User of people. Totally a user of people. Explain something to NBC. For a second here. I'm going to explain something to NBC for a second here. Oh, man. He is ready to ball. He strikes back. I don't know what kind of um dude, and he doesn't. He really doesn't even know if he seriously stumbled into a fucking porno. He does not even now. He still doesn't understand. How could you possibly understand, dude? Dude just came out from this with a camera. Oh shit! I thought that was her dad. And then he tells you it's Dateline NBC. You've never heard of Dateline NBC. You, you're just like, okay, look, I'm going to tell you, day, okay, you, 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 okay, Dateline NBC, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something, Dateline NBC. He's going to tell them, the girl's role-playing, dude, girl's role-playing. Um, I don't know what kind of rap you got on people, I think that's what he says, I don't know what kind of rap you got on people. I don't know what kind of rap y'all got on people. But maybe I can get the whole story. That is just awesome, dude. I don't know what kind of rap you got on people, but maybe I can get the whole story. Maybe I can get the whole story. Because this girl was in a role-playing chat room. Oh, no. And the girl was role-playing. People play roles, man. People play roles. Whose house is this? Can I smoke a cigarette? Now he's just, he's given up at this point. He's given up the fight. He's like, fuck this. I, I, you know, what's happening? What's happening next? Chris Hansen does not allow him to smoke in the house. No, you cannot smoke in this house. And he says, I figured that. Thank you. You can smoke outside. Oh, look at his face. He wants to punch anybody, dude. But there's no one he can. There's just nothing he can do. It's it's. It, he realizes he is now in a multi uh, multi dimensional reality that is unlike anything he has experienced before. He's David Schumacher, dude. He's got his cigarettes. Should have grabbed another cookie. That's what I'd have done. I grabbed another cookie. I'd be like, yo, dude, watch me eat this cookie, bitch. What ballers? All right, dude. And now he's looking for the exit. This is what's so strange. A lot of people um, in the Fort Myers episode had a hard time finding the exit. You remember that? They had to, I think it was generic white male. They had to like, you know, point him the way out. They're like, no, the other way or something. One of those guys. Multiple people, they had to tell how to get out. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you that their brain is so scrambled that their sense of direction, that internal compass, the internal north, 
right? North means the opposite of where I came in at. Okay, so if I came in that door, north is the other way, regardless of, you know, geolocation and all that shit. So your brain gets so scrambled, you lose all sense of your internal compass. Because you're like, I don't even know where I came in anymore. I'm looking, I'm looking at the door I came in, but I don't trust it anymore. I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything anything nothing is real and they get lost and this happens to David Schumacher look at him he's so grimaced he has no idea that for five years he's gonna be in prison oh my gosh prison he ain't never been to prison before I don't think all right, dude. Now, see, he looked. He looked at the exit, but he doesn't see the exit. His brain is scrambled. He decides to go out the front door. That's what Hanson says. Oh, look at him. He must have ran down those steps. Look at him, little shorts. Look at that. Ah, oh, the, the, the granularity. This is not HD video. Look at his sister is still sitting there with her babies. Oh my gosh, that's just amazing. 